ladies and gentlemen, back by unpopular demand, Joe Rice. Woo! Yes. Hey, how you guys doing? It's good to see you. How you doing? You look good. You look good. It's been a while since we've uh, three of us have been together. It's been a while since I shaved. Hey, woo! <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I shaved too. I couldn't be balling, did I? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. Just not in the mood. But um, we've been doing a lot. We've been getting a lot of stuff done behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. So be patient. Stuff is coming. Stuff is coming. He really does mean stuff. Yes. Stuff. Lots of stuff. Lots of stuff. Lots of different stuff. Good stuff. Maybe some not Joe so Rice, good stuff. The cuddly beanbag. <laughs> no. Joe Rice the flamethrower. <laughs> the kids will love that one. <laughs> so we've uh, me and Chris got together not too long ago. We did uh, some stuff. Um, Joe, it's been a bit. Glad to have you back. And um, lots been going on in the world. So wanted to do something relevant to what's happening today in society. Um, and there's been a lot made of the whole AI thing. Mm. Now, for good or for bad, you know, depends on who you ask. A lot has been made of it, though. So people are saying it's the end of us. They're going to, you know, sterilize us or kill us or touch us in bad places. I don't know. There's a lot to be talked about. Determinant to Terminator, right. and we can all be doomed. You're talking about autoerotic insensitivities, right? <laughs> <laughs> to some degree. To some that degree. was good. But like, that was good. I'm thinking, like, so for, for the person who doesn't know what AI is, it's, yeah. artificial, it's artificial intelligence, intelligence right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Something that Joe definitely doesn't have. No. <laughs> Nothing unofficial about me. <laughs> it's all official. <laughs> it's all, I'm all official. I'm There's the also no intelligence, but at least he's official. Yes. Oh. yes. If you can tolerate it. Yep. Here Back we go. to Joe. So, um, you know, we have apps now, chat GPT, you know, all these different types of device that can just write your poems, write your songs, write your movie scripts. What wrote us? Write your books. <laughs> Seriously. So at what point is it, you know, fair? Because you have Hollywood's on strike right now. Yep. And a large percentage of what they're fighting against is the AI generation. Hmm. You don't need background people no more. You yeah. just sign them up. They mm -hmm. sign away their likeness forever. Forever. Now, that has a few different roads that can lead to complications. A, will they pay you for it every time they use your likeness? Oh, I, which I is, doubt that. I doubt which that. Which is one of the things that Hollywood's striking for at this moment. Wait, I wasn't aware that. Do you think AI is going to start writing television shows? That's what's going on? Pro. It does everything. It does everything. AI made the opening for the Marvel show that just came out. Really? Yep. I wasn't aware of that. Yeah, so there's a lot of complications that can arise and a lot of people are worried about their livelihoods, especially in Hollywood, which I don't blame them. They're striking right now. I think they're rich, elitist assholes, but that's besides the point. Mm. You know, pay those even. But anyway, I, I digress. Let's stay on point. Um, well, you mentioned apps. Yeah. Can I bring this up? You have an app. I have okay. an app. Yeah. Well, yeah. I have an app that I use every once in a while. It's something that a friend and I were working on. And, yeah. you know, I get It's very interesting when the app asks me questions that I don't expect an app to ask. Like, you know, what do flowers smell like? Like, I, I mean, how do, you, how do you really explain? And you really got to think about that. I mean, they used to do that in school mm. back in the day. You know, how would you explain to someone who's blind what the color green is that, like? That is how strange. do you, yes. like, I mean, in, in a way, you're sitting there going, how do I, how do I explain this? Mm -hmm. I don't know how to explain something that's normal yeah. to but most this people. This is all, like, artificially generated. This is the app on a phone. Yeah, right. Well, taking on its own mind. Do not... Straight too far off the point I was trying to make earlier, you know that you can have an AI generate paintings in, like, I could have AI generate me, like, in the style of Van um, Rembrandt, or, you know, different styles, take a picture of this table, but in the style of. Right. But now, here's and the question. Who owns that? Is that yeah. actually AI? 
Yes. It's just a, pro I mean, all AI is, yes, just a program, but the, it, this is a program that's designed to do that. You're not, it's not like you're sitting there and it's making up its own mind, quote uh -huh. unquote, on how it wants it to look. Basically, those programs and those apps are taking the picture of you, mm -hmm. finding a likeness to it in that artist's genre, yeah. and just transforming it. Yes. It's, it's basically an auto Photoshop. But you're also stealing from the artist. You are. Right? So it's trying to make something new though, not recreating the original. Right, but at the yeah. exact same time, you really can't say that it's stealing from the artist as well. You can it's and you can't. It's in the style it's, of. It's in the style of. I, I guess you can do I, that. I'm a painter. I'm a surrealist painter. I uh -huh. paint very similar to uh, Salvador Dali mm -hmm. in certain cases. I didn't realize I'm not true. stealing his work. <laughs> I didn't realize that Salvador Dali screamed at paintings. <laughs> <laughs> I saw at everything. I God damn it, Joe! <laughs> this is a beautiful tree! <laughs> Listen, I'm very angry. But, but there's, you there's, gotta check out his work. He actually does really good work. <laughs> but there's are there are roads that we haven't gone down yet with AI. When AI runs the computer systems or the cameras, or what happens if AI becomes the police? Well, you bro, you can talk to a police officer and say, "I'm not the person that you're looking for," and the officer has to take that into account. AI just scans you, and that's it. You're going. You go. They already had a TV show about that. I used to Probably. watch it. <laughs> Probably. Listen, you, you're talking about that, about security and stuff like that, or police there's, forces there's so and whatnot. so many ramifications that could come out of AI that we haven't even begun to think, think about. about the stop and shop that's here on Staten Island that has its own automated bot that goes around. I'd kick that thing when it goes by It's, it's what? ridiculous. It, there is a <laughs> robot on wheels yes, that drives yeah. around cleaning the store, <laughs> cleaning the yeah. store and alerting yeah. them beep, beep. to yep. spills and stuff that it can't take care yeah. of. Bro, does yeah. it run around saying happy birthday, Paulie? No. <laughs> ah. <laughs> no. But it's annoying. It gets in the way. It, oh. If there's um, a display on the end uh -huh. or the side of, of the aisle. Yeah. It, it gets stuck there. It gets stuck. It, it hits tries it. to turn around, and if, <laughs> and if somebody's moving past it, it doesn't know what to do. Now, so. But does it get aggravated and start cursing? It's run into people. Yeah. I believe that. <laughs> so, but people do that. Like you want yeah, AI people, to be more like people, right? Yeah. Yeah. People run yeah. into each other all the time. Sometimes the only people thing get is, stuck on end caps. If you accidentally <laughs> bump into a person and they fall down, most of the time they could get back up. But you bump into this thing, it's going to fall over and probably kill someone. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah, but there's a lot of ramifications that will come about. Some we haven't even thought about yet. I'm so sure. Johnny Five is almost alive. Yep. That's well, what it's coming down five. to. Number Five. Yeah. He's alive. We're slowly <laughs> creeping towards uh, towards Terminator. Because, I mean, you really think about it. Uh, yeah. Terminator yeah. with Skynet. I mean, most of the police, the military, security forces, they use a lot of computer technology and the yeah. eye in the sky. Oh, and, you know. They're all jacked into a network. Could you imagine, yeah. like, another... Well... Thing from out, out outside the planet. Well, you do know packed you, into planet you know, Earth. You know what happened Imagine. on nine eleven, right? What? When the tower went down, they lost all communications because the top of the, the trade tower was their communication satellite. Yep. Well, technically, it wasn't a satellite, but they lost all communication. Mm -hmm. Walkie talkies all all went down. Yeah. Nobody could communicate. That's why everything, now, all, all telecommunications have changed yeah. since then. Yeah. The, stop, the way that we do it, the how we do it. I mean, technology is going to change regardless. It, it's 22 right. years later. But, you know, some of our systems are very vulnerable. Our, our, our grids, electric grids, so vulnerable. They're so outdated. They can't keep up with demand. Well, it's not even just the fact that they can't keep up with demand. Mm -hmm. You look at the technology, and as you said, it's antiquated. Yeah. They're, they're not upgrading the technology because at the moment, it's cheaper to just keep repairing it than replace it. Yeah, it's cheaper Repa Replacing it would wind up forcing them to shut entire sections of a grid down. Right. And who knows how long mm. a section of a grid is going to have to be down. It's know. not just... You're not just flipping, moving two cables over like we do at work. Well, remember <laughs> well, we did that one job that was nearby where they connected the power grid from northeast to right. Atlantic, south of us. Right. And it's, what, a three-foot tube 
full that, of cable that goes, that from, goes from New North Jersey East. to yep. Staten Island and goes all the way down. Right, and it yeah. does. It didn't even fix any of the problems. There no, are still did, multiple though. rolling blackouts. It did fix it though. When there becomes too much demand up here, where there's a lot more metro area than there is down there, it starts to pull from that. We haven't had a a big blackout. Where everything went down for multiple well, you days. You haven't had it because you live I in had Brooklyn. Six in one day. I'm still in Brooklyn. So one one day. you're still in Brooklyn. You're running off of a different power grid than Staten Island does. Also, Northeast also, wait, 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 wait. We had a time when the whole Northeast went down, and it went down for multiple days. Remember that black? Yes. It was, yes. And you know why? That started in Canada because we're attached to Canada. Yes, we are. Mm-hmm. That's that's how we talked about the blackout of 2017. I think before the back. Well, 2007? Way, two, yeah. 2007. The one from 2007 it was, was down original. For four days. It was right. We were supposed to do a summer concert. Yeah. <laughs> remember? Listen, I remember when, when it went down and people were calling 911. 2003. 2003? That's oh, right. Wait. There's the sixth. August there's, of 2003. A, I, think I was, was alive from the 1977 right. one, too, by the way. The one from August of 2003. They were uh, 50 million people across the Northeast in darkness. Mm-hmm. August 14, 2003. A dark Odyssey. <laughs> <laughs> so during 2000, the blackout of 2003, 29 hours, there was a high frequency of calls to 911 across multiple states because people were looking up at the sky and didn't know what they were looking at. So now, 2006, are we, are we on, as wait. a society just that dumb? That people are looking up at the sky, seeing the arm of our Milky Way. Uh huh. Oh Jesus! And deciding that? that they don't know what There's that aliens. is. There's aliens. There's aliens, and we're all gonna die, and they're coming to get us okay. because we've suddenly seen the arm of our Milky Way. Okay, so people are pretty dumb. Mm. Definitely. Well, this is the most scary people, thing about AI. People don't, you know, and that's and that's the thing that I I've been reflecting on lately too, uh, in, in my personal life. Where we, as a society, as just the human race, pretty much in general, doesn't look up enough anymore. No. We have oh, yeah. total blackouts of the sky because of the light pollution. This is it. Everyone doing well, this. No, no, it has not. But hold, listen, this is part of AI. That is, that this is, is taking uh, control over not, people. Point is, is there's, there's so much light pollution that in our city, New York City area, we. Mm. We look up, we see, what, three, five stars? True. Yeah. You know, on a good night, you see the moon, maybe you'll, you'll just catch a speck of That's Jupiter. That's where we are in the metro area here in New York City. Okay. When you go out South Dakota, where there's not so much of that stuff, you can see a lot yeah. more in the sky. And we've lost our connection with the stars, right. with the universe. The problem is everyone today, well, the younger generation. Nobody do they really care? wants to look up. Do they care? And that, and that lends to your point where everybody's face is in their phone. Yes. Right. Well, why do I need to look up when I can look here? Right. right. I can see everything I want right here. But you feel a connection. Right. When you actually view it in real life with your own eyes, you feel a connection to things. You feel a connection to nature <clears throat> when you're in the woods. Mm. Here, we're, we're in the concrete jungle. Yeah. You know, we have very little mm-hmm. wooded areas. We do have some nice ones, but when you're in the middle of nowhere in the woods or you're out at night looking up at the night sky and you can see the Milky Way, you feel a connection with these things. You feel mm-hmm. a higher purpose to your existence. And, and that's the biggest point of, of all this. Now, AI is coming in, looking to push us out of a lot of things that we physically do ourselves, the writing of the books, the writing of poems, mm-hmm. making of music. We've, we've lost our spirituality. We're losing ourselves now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But the, on a good note, I mean, as far as AI is concerned, now we have many different versions of AI. Mm-hmm. Chat GPT is just one version of many different that are coming out. Um, are they gonna? Control, is the government gonna step in and control it? Hmm. I hope they don't, well, because they control then, everything else. Then, you, then you get then you get the government version of it, which is something you don't want. If it's public domain and you get to choose if you're gonna work with an AI, well, then you have the choice of well, who wrote the AI? Right. Who, who designed this particular AI to not have any political biases or racial biases well, or music biases or, or just, you know, stuff that like that point, in general? The whole point of why we're talking about this is it starts thinking for itself. 
The That's guy who well, originally we'll designed it, it that. goes beyond what they programmed, now, and now it's starting to do things on its own, and it becomes uncontrollable. Just, right at this moment, there may be five or six entities in the world that are working in that direction, but what we're speaking of right now mm -hmm. is somebody typing in yeah. and telling this thing what to do and how to respond. Right. That's where we're at it yeah. in, in the... the, the the nucleus of just normal life. Well, that's the scary thing about that app that we were talking about earlier. This thing is learning and mm -hmm. adapting. In yeah. other words, it's taking on but, its own identity. But the problem is, is though, it's learning from the internet, which is not no, not, it's not, really, not. It's no. learning from the person who's working with it. Correct. He no. He can tell no. that's wrong. That's wrong. Well, that's wrong. You know why that's wrong? You know why that's wrong? Because for it to grow past the knowledge of the person who's just Programming it, it reaches out to other yeah, entities across right. line. Wait, now, wait, wait, wait. The problem with that is not everything is real online. Well, that's true, too. If it goes on to, you know, looks for information and finds somebody just put up a, right. a prank version of Starry Night. Right. The painting. It doesn't and then it thinks that's the, the, yes. that's the, you know, Van Gogh. And mm -hmm. it's not. But Chet, uh, these, some of these apps won't. Know the difference between the fake and the real, right. no and they will pull from the mm -hmm. fake mm -hmm. and give you bad information. Right. And it, it has to learn on its own, and that's the AI part. So it reaches out to all these sites and these references and these these places where our information is stored that may not be totally factual. Well, from what we're programming, we should be programming it to know, hey, this is the real thing, and this is what's no, not no, real. No, 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 no. You see, that doesn't work. Human beings aren't like that. Not to get political. But you have a big divide with the left sees things pretty clearly one way, mm -hmm. and the right sees things this way, yeah. another way, pretty clearly. They, well, why isn't both, somebody both fixing sides. the bad so starry night that's if, out there? If you're, if you're right? leaning left and you program ChatGPT to move over certain things that are going on because it doesn't make your party look good, right. or if you're on the right and you're doing the same thing, it's personal biases are being fed into mm -hmm. these, these apps for this AI. That could have serious consequences if you're just going on and trying to find a relative news story and you, you can't find the truth because one side's saying it's this and the other side's saying it's this. There's no real foundation for truth. That is why Boris will tell you the truth. You're right. talking about just political parties. There's other things other than our two political parties but in this country. You've got no, lots of more. No, 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 no. Yes. You're missing more. the point. No. No, you, no <laughs> yes, you are. And I'll tell you why. Because it's not just political. I'm, I'm giving you an example. Well, that's exactly where an we were example. going. The right. fact that there are other factors too, now, like religion. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so the person that believes a certain religion and doesn't and believes yours is not real, you know, if they're programming AI for their own, you know, AI, it's gonna you're not gonna get the answers you're looking for, mm -hmm. or your or your AI is gonna get you know wrong answers. I mean, I, I don't know how you talk about God with an AI. That's a little, you know. Well, for some people, God is everything. They govern. That right. God governs everything in their life, including technology. So, yeah, at what point do you have to draw that line? And who's going to make that decision for everybody? We I mean, don't have that in this world yet. Where like we're all governed by I mean, one thing, the entire well, planet. Well, versus the rest. You've also got to think of the fact in in, in regards to that that. Even, let's say, here in the United States, we talk about freedom of religion. Mm -hmm. There really is none. Huh? There really is no freedom of religion in the United States. But freedom is an illusion. <laughs> Nothing I, is not I, free. is free. I say that because there's supposed to be a separation of church and state. Well, they showed us during COVID no. that your no. religion is a no-go hmm. if you want to go to church and pray. Right. So right there alone was... They trampled all over oh, everybody's religion. You, are, yourself, you yeah. are allowed to practice your religion, and you are allowed to be upset about somebody else practicing their religion. Because freedom of speech. Because right? people voice these opinions. But we're allowed to. Uh, listen, mm -hmm. we may be allowed to voice them, Correct. but most people voice them to the point that they're suppressing this other religion. Yeah. There is no real freedom of religion if all we do is rip each other apart. People get, you know, uh, real no, no, no. It's all muddy what you're saying. It's all muddy. 
for the money. You, freedom of religion is to worship whatever deity, whatever at whatever church or wh wherever, whenever you deem fit. Correct. You do that worshiping. But which, if I, on public property, yeah. ha do all the paperwork I need to with the city. On public property. On public property. Go ahead. And do something for my religion. Mm -hmm. And it upsets somebody else. By the way, which is the church of the fans. <laughs> and it upsets somebody else. Yeah. They are allowed to come up and try to break that up. Well, if you don't have You're, a permit, they right, get a little money. This, no, 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 no. It's a little no. money. No. They if, have, they, if I have everything, including all the permits, it is perfectly legal for, let's say, a Catholic group to come in and completely destroy my right, event. You need to not name names because I didn't not name names. You said Catholic. He did you say, should. He you did say sh Catholic. I did you say should. Catholic because it's an example. You shouldn't use. We shouldn't be doing that. Generic. Generic. Fine. That's why I said Church of the Fonz. A generic church religion the comes... A church of the Fonz. If a generic religion say comes it. and says say it. that say they church don't... Of the I'm not saying it. If a generic... If your generic religion comes and they yeah. decide that what I'm doing mm -hmm. doesn't go or coincide with what they believe, they're going to do whatever they can to stop me from doing it. They'll protest. They'll... In, in certain cases... They physically harm people. That's not freedom of religion. Right, you're not supposed to take it to that level. That's, that religion um, believes well, that they're the only ones that are allowed to do something. That's what that is. There is no such well, thing as freedom of religion in, in the United States. You're also States. talking good apples versus bad apples. There's always gonna be yeah. the bad ones that ruin it for everybody. Right. Not everyone's gonna sit there and wanna break up your thing that's going on. And most and, people and, will just walk by and be like, And most oh, people are going into their place of worship. Not the sidewalk of New York City to right. worship. Well, so once you start when, worshiping on the sidewalks of New York City, listen, and you're out there all nice. Hey, the fans. But listen, you know we're not allowed to have places. The Church of Peter Griffin. But we're not allowed to have places. Going. Hey. <laughs> we're not allowed to have places because when there are places, generic religion. Burns my religious places down. I don't because know my religion is considered Satanism to them. Oh, there's dumb people in the world, but there are a lot of no, dumb people in the really world, but that happens all the time. It happens all the time. Hold on. Uh, You're a Satanist? <laughs> <laughs> Buzzing! That's what he got out of this. <laughs> Everybody else thought yeah. that too for a second. Um, no, I'm not a Satanist, but I'm definitely a furry. Well, people have <laughs> misconceptions of certain types of religion and everything like that. But what did that I mean, have to do with AI, though? Let, let's, let, yeah, well, and well, that's not going to help that people programming may have certain biases, tendencies to lean certain ways about certain religions, mm -hmm. that when the AI does a search, so I go in, tell me about the, the Church of the Fonz. On the Google. And it tells, and it, and it gives me some information that's not right. They're Satanists. The Church of the Fonz. But you never knew this, so you joined the Church of the Fonz, not no, knowing they're Satanists. You, no, you're, you're looking into wanting to join, but AI tells you it's it, they're Satanists uh -huh. because... Because the generic religion has decided that it's Satanists. Okay. Because the person programming the AI... Is against Satanists. ...thinks that they're Satanists. Gotcha. Because the pro person that's programming this one specific AI uh -huh. doesn't understand that... Let's, let's name it religion. Catholicism comes straight out of paganism. Mm -hmm. But because... It, you're not smart enough to understand where the, your religion came from. Yeah. You're looking at the pagan people that still worship the same sky, the moon, the sun, the spring, the harvest. They're Satanist, okay. is what he's saying. Yeah. And because people that program these AIs mm. don't know any better, right. you get a lot of dumb people getting a lot of dumb responses. Nobody's burning churches. Listen, I don't but, burn churches. I don't go to churches. Pagan. Well, Yes. Hold on. Hagen. <laughs> I, I don't go to churches, but I can say a wedding. <laughs> what? Listen, listen, the city will ordain anyone. <laughs> it doesn't matter what you practice. See? <laughs> yeah, so the point is, is that the AI will lean towards whoever's programming it to their biases, their, their tendencies to believe certain things and not others. And that's a major problem because when it's programmed by the government, well, we know how that turns out. Yeah. So now here, 
We're a paranormal podcast, right? Supposed to be. Sure. How does the AI relate to paranormal? Well, people can write stories, have AI write stories about paranormal and stuff. So and then, then things and that, then, so it's making so, shit up. So what, right now we can go on AI, mm -hmm. open it up, and have AI do the paranormal podcast, and we could just sit there. I can smoke cigarettes. You can rub your toes. You can pick your nose, and it's doing the work for us. Can we order hose? It's actually wow. <laughs> I was just rhyming. <laughs> the first thing that came to mind. I'm sorry. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> By hose, he means the gardening tool. Yeah, right. Yes. Right. Sure. And he didn't say how much, so <laughs> there you go. Giggity goo. Giggity. So um, AI can do the podcast for us in our own voices. Yeah. Why yep. are we doing this then? Because we're real. We want to be real. We want people uh, to listen to us. Are you sure and you're real? Us. Hold on a um, second. We no. Can, we can have other co-hosts be AI on our podcast? Yeah. Sure. Why don't we do it? We can get Tina here. It's the only way she'll show up. Ow! <laughs> anyway, um, yes, you could you could have AI design the person to sit there, you know, through graphics and mimic her voice almost perfectly. How would how funny would this be if we put a computer monitor on one of these chairs? If we put anybody we want in the podcast, yeah. but we let AI determine what they say. This week, Joe Rogan. <laughs> I think we'd get in trouble if we did that. Oh, you'll get in trouble for nothing. So, so I, I listen to Rogan's podcast. You know how many advertisements are, are with him? Tell Ad me. Advertising certain products. And what? he's like, that's not me. That's not me? <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's <laughs> saying that he doesn't support that? Yeah. He's like, that's, that's, that's my voice. That's my face. That's not me. Oh. Oh, yeah. Saying that's not me. Yeah. Doing the commercial. Yes. Correct. Yes. They, did he yeah. allow that? Well, he I mean, fight it, of course. The price of fame. I mean, like, yeah. they want him advertising, but he's, he's coming out saying that I don't support that product when yeah. he... Yeah. How can he do that? So he says there's, there's a bunch of advertisements using his name, his face, his voice. That's Without his him. consent, though. Without his consent. Because that's, his consent. that's messed up AI, yeah. then. Right. Yeah. That's, you know... Right. Yeah. But so, it's happening all over the place. But also, you, he must have a management company. Someone's signing off on doing that. Because they would be taking that down. No. It's you hard. Think? You know why? I'm sure it you is. You take hard. one down, three more pop up. Right. That's because it's when you do it with AI. Uh -huh. if you, it's like that. You know where our podcast takes us. You know the hour to film, and then potentially three to four weeks to to edit. Right. The AI will make the podcast, edit it, and everything in about five minutes. Why don't we do that then? <laughs> I can go to work calmly and peacefully and not have to worry about yeah, doing First of all, you've never gone to work calmly and peacefully. No, it's always behind just, late. Oh, oh, let's oh, just be oh, honest. Oh, oh, Mary oh. Ann, the band. I didn't the change. The horns. Oh, God, the console. JP sleeping at the foot of my bed. What's going on? <laughs> I was going to say that's so 2022, but all right. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, there's a, there's a lot to get into with AI and a lot to think about. And is it the right thing for us? I mean, Elon Musk came out and said, you know, maybe we should just put this on pause. And let's look into this a little more before we let this out of the box and then we can't control it. Elon Musk is also crazy. He is crazy. It's all right. But he's, he's saying, lost his guy he's saying hold mind. on, let's take a pause. There's some shit out there I that mean, we don't know. You know, whatever you think of him, I'm just telling you what he said. No, it's no, I, don't, yeah. I understand. You, you, you sit there and you look at it, though, and what he's been doing from an, an outside perspective. Love and it's it. just like, I love it. hey, listen, he comes up with some funny shit, but he's fucking crazy. <laughs> Aren't all the big geniuses out there fucking nuts in their head? It's called this being eccentric. It's what I am, just without the money. We're hoping. That's why we're on this coattail. <laughs> Give me my milf. <laughs> milf? Oh, we're going back to that? Sure. All right. Back to the AI, you know, it's uh, the cat's out of the, the box, the bag, the box. Right. Cats no, bag. cats like boxes cat? more than bags. Yes, yeah, Shron they like eat bags. bags, but they go in yeah. boxes. Yes, Shron's just cat. Yep. Okay. Is it is it in the bag or is it out of the bag? It's out of the box. It's a, it's box. No, 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 you take the cat and you stick it in a box. Is it is it in the box? And you irradiate it. Is it, is it cat alive or dead? Uh, You're you not going to know unless you open it. 
Are you? You don't know what this is? You, he has no idea. <laughs> Whoa! You guys went left field. All right. It's no, no, no. It's a, it's a real. It's, it's a real, real scientific principle. Yeah. Schrodinger is a cat, bro. If you take a cat and stick yeah. it in a box, yeah. mm-hmm. is the cat alive? Yes. How do you know? I hear it's scratching. It's in the box. What if it's not scratching? Maybe it's sleeping. But it's you don't dead. know. Maybe it's freaked out. Maybe, Maybe it's, it's dead. In the box. Maybe it's dead. It could be dead, but I, if I watch there the cat is, go in the box. There is no knowing. How long has it been thing. in the box? But that's the thing. There is no knowing, and that's the whole concept of Schrodinger's cat. There is no knowing. Once you put that cat in the box and you don't physically see it, you don't know if it's alive or dead. That well, can the go answer, for a person. What if we had a box of stuff on this table and Joe, I got in it? Joe, the same theory, let's you know? put Joe in it. Let's test it. You need to get That's in, called a coffin. You need to get in the box. <laughs> you need to get in the box. Would you eat that box? No oh, way. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'd eat the pussy in the box. Oh. <laughs> Oh, wow. yeah, baby. <laughs> Mustache ride, step right up. AI did it. <laughs> that wasn't Joe Rice, that was AI. Excuse me, excuse me, everybody. I'd like to take a moment and talk about my dick, friends, Joe and Chris. <laughs> That's right. They have a great sense of humor and they're really good guys, but sometimes they just get on my nerves. It, but, in all fairness, we have a good time doing this. Oh, we, we do. Really we definitely do. have a good time doing this. But Joe Fu and I will agree that Joe Rice is the largest pain that anyone has ever met, worked with, or anything. He makes a toothache look like you stubbed your toe. And, and you know why that is? Because I push them. Yeah. I push them hard. When their work is good, I tell them it's not so they make it better. Oh. And I break their egos and I break the balls because I want the best for them. For them. You heard and it. And myself. You I'm heard a- it. He's a dick. This is why the Shanley Hotel episode took over a year. That's right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you for being the Dark Odyssey tumor. But, <laughs> wow. But what did you say to me? And what exactly did you say to me? I'm glad you did it because it came out great. Rest my case. I did. I, did I do that. everything with. The least amount of selfish reflection, more for everybody. And you know that for a fact. We just You've heard it right it. here from the horse's mouth, Sherlock Rice. <laughs> but that's how I do everything. Yeah. Do it better. Do it better. Do it be better. Be better. Now, had I known. Well, hold on, hold on. Sitting here. Joe, be better. Here we go. Ready? <laughs> you ready for this? He's going to get better. Sitting right here, speaking to you guys. We are currently, the three of us, over $100,000 in debt. And the answer is here. Here's the answer. But I can't get everybody on the same page to do this four to five times a week. They have wives, they have families, marriage, children in some cases, work, cats and others, and work. <laughs> yeah. But if you take the time to make the sacrifice, it will come. It's three years now, and it hasn't come yet because we haven't made the sacrifice. Everybody does the work. It takes a year and a half to put out an episode. You know, it's, you need to stop the shit, fuck the excuses, work twice as hard, and you'll get somewhere. Because after six months, you got to ask yourself, why am I doing this and I've gotten nowhere? Well, it's either give up or work twice as hard. And that's what I do to these guys. I fucking push them. I tell them, no, that's not good enough. And it's not to, you know, because at the same time I'm telling them, this is great work, but in the, in the actual realm of real media, it's not good enough. It's good for what we're doing, but it's not good enough to get us somewhere. Be better. You can be better. I tell them right to their face. And I always, always tell them after I fucking rough them up that I love them. Every single time. He does. He rubs our heads too. Yes. Oh, he does. So, as bad as it sounds, I do it because I want better for you, better for you, better for me. I want us in a better place. And right now, this is not working. We need to push harder. We do. The fans will come. They will come. I wish I had a fan to bring up and go... (laughs) They will come. It's on Dave's desk. It is on Dave's desk. (laughs) 
that's another day, something to speak about another time. And that was another life lesson from Joe from Rice. Joe Rice. I'm Joe Rice. Thank you for joining us. This is Joe Fucardillo. This is Christopher Fion. We hope you enjoyed our talk about AI. We'll catch you next time. Bye-bye. Check one, check two, I'm rolling, right? Check one. Recording. I can't tell if it's recording because your fucking music's too goddamn loud. Here we go. Camera Pro. one was first. At least I listen to good music, all right? Listen, I listen to great music. You listen to shit. 10-1, 10 one, Wow. Two, Coming from you? Yes. You Coming with your, I like to diddle on my guitar, but I can't get anything right? Everyone, oh, oh, it's not right. me. Everyone hit hold so you don't accidentally stop your recorders. I'm holding. I'm on hold. Hold. Sync clap. Hold. Me. Hold. You're good. You're centered. I'm good. I'm centered. Oh, take a sip. First time I've ever heard that in my life. Yeah, Joe is definitely not centered. Centered, not grounded. <laughs> <laughs>